Today on RB's Toy Box, we're going to take a look at the Playmobil 18 van. This guy right here. Hit it, B.A. Welcome back to another little episode of Arby's Toy Box as we're going to talk about the Playmobil 18 van. Now this is one of several that I obviously have with uh, you know the Ghostbusters over here and I've got James Bond back here, I've got Scooby-Doo over here, I've got uh, down here the DeLorean but I love Playmobil in the fact that obviously they've gone back and created some of the memories that we've had as kids. Obviously, you've seen my videos on the Enterprise and just them taking the time to say, you know what, there is an underserved group out there and it's us old kids. <laughs> and us old kids want some toys. They didn't have this when I was a kid. I would have killed for Christmas to have something like this, but uh, you know, now that we're older, we can we can get something like this right now. You know, it's kind of pricey. These are retail about 90 bucks, and I did get this one off of eBay, which I will take a caveat for the eBay sellers out there. If you have your products in a smoke-free home, list it that way. People like me who spend good money on eBay will spend a little bit more if it's in a smoke-free home because when I got this, I got about $30 less retail and it reeked of cigarette smoke. It took me three weeks to clean and air out and run, you know, the anti-smoky stuff uh, that you would, you know, it, it just took a while to really take this thing out and scrub it down in everything. I mean, even down in the cracks and crevices. And they were like, you know, we only had it out for a couple of weeks. You know, I get that, but cigarette smoke works that way. My dad smoked for almost his entire life, pretty much, and his whole house smelled that way. I'm just saying, and it, I mean, it was in the rubber of the wheels and everything. So if you are an eBay seller and you will have your products in a smoke-free environment, list it that way. Trust me, people like me that, you know, don't like smoke smell will pay the little bit extra. Now. Let's get back over to this one. This one, for those of you who haven't gotten this yet, uh, you can go on the uh, website for Playmobil. They do some really good job with photography on there. But the top comes off. By the way, this is practically identical, if not identical, to the Scooby-Doo van. The only thing different is the color, the paint, and the wheels, and the front you know, uh, push bar there. But the lid comes off, it's got the cup holders, it has a little place there for the feet to slide in, and then it's got the back seats in there for everybody to sit at, and then it has like a little center over on the side, and if you have the Scooby-Doo van, it's just the same, uh, to where it has this little bitty section over here on the side for you to put your tools, and then it has the three slots across the bottom for you to put the little schematics to come with it, and then one up here at the top, that has just like these little, you know, tappets in here that have pictures on them. Uh, the Scooby-Doo ones have like some transparent ones on here, but it comes with, uh, you know, a lot of the tools, and it comes with some firearms and some radios. Obviously, this is the A-Team, so they're going to put some firearms in there. You know, is it to scale? No. But is it cool that it at least gives a strong impression to it and it's bigger than the really only other one out there? Yes. You know, these are technically the same scale. Green light, you screwed up on that one. <laughs> this is not a 124. Not any way, shape, or form. All right, let's slap this baby back together because I want to show you next. Snaps like, like that. 
also have the uh, Playmobil Pity the Fool keychain right here. And then I also, of course, you saw the green light right there. I have that. My 1977 Plymouth uh, Decker's uh, vehicle here. Now here's here's the point here. This and this, according to Greenlight, are the same scale. Does that look like the same scale to you? No, no, it's not. Things that are different are not the same. Dr. Mickey Carter. Now I also have the ViewMaster Talking ViewMaster uh, third generation. So the ones that slide down the long, tall, and go down in there and has a cool little record that plays on that. I also have some trading cards down here. And what I really want to show you is one of the things that impressed me the most about this particular kit. And that is the characters. Okay? Now if you look really close at Howl and Mad Murdoch here, you know, all the way down to the feet where they've got him in sneakers and the little hand puppet and the writing on the shirt and on the back. You know, there's very few other play sets that they've taken the time to put into the characters. Even the Scooby-Doo gang over there, they didn't put this much time into. So I'm really impressed with that to that particular fact. Even with this one with the ascot, and you know the jacket which looks kind of like that you know suave thing that face man used to have all the way down now watch this this is really cool notice the hands here on Hannibal they're black now why would that be well maybe because he wore black gloves just about all the time and that is one of the cool things the little attention to detail that they spent on the characters that they didn't really spend on the van, let's just be honest. It is literally the Scooby-Doo van with a wing on the back, a stripe down the side, and different wheels and paint. It's literally the same. Um, but they, I mean, all the way down to the belt buckle down in here. I have a bunch of other characters, and none of them have this much attention to detail. Even with Beret, you know, B.A., look at, look at the feet. I mean, all the way down to the fact that, you know, he always used to wear those little bit shorter pants and the socks pulled up and, of course, the jewelry and, and on his wrists even. I mean, it's just that little bit of attention to detail that really makes the set. Because if they had just stopped, they could have easily just run this without that. They could have easily not put these on here. They easily could have just had this be snap-off hair, right? Uh, and just put him in in blue, and it would have, you know, most people have been, you know, still have that's pretty cool, but they didn't. They took the time to do the attention to detail, and that's important, especially when you're going to pay 90 bucks for a playset. <laughs> that's important. And they did the same thing with the Enterprise. They even did the same thing when you're dealing with the DeLorean, and you start looking on the inside. And they took a little extra time. When you look at the control panel inside of here, and I'll do another review on this another time, but they took some time to do that attention to detail, either in the cars or in the character. And so when you're looking at that in a point of comparison, that's what you want to look for. The detail. The detail when you're dealing with these guys right here. Again, they didn't spend as much time on this. They could have, they should have put him in a separate suit, coat, like they did with this one, and just pulled it in a little further. But they didn't. They just took the same Playmobil character and then put some paint on the front of it. You can find him with, you know, the exact same Playmobil character with nothing on the front, just stickers. So that's what I'm saying. They spent a little bit more time on these. Uh, than they did some of the other play sets. Maybe that's, they were fans of A-Team. I don't know. But I am glad that they did that. By the way, if you like what you're seeing here, make sure you do that subscribe and like down there and, and leave a comment. I appreciate sometimes, I don't make any money for this. I don't monetize my videos. I just do this because I kind of like doing it. And, you know, I don't have anything else better to do sometimes. But it's got the little milk jug in there too. You know, it's just the little things like that that help make this playset kind of worth the 90 bucks a little bit 
but moreover, you know, it's a showcase piece. So when someone puts this together, it's not necessarily something that you're going to give to a six-year-old, right? It's going to be uh, adult kids like us. And by the way, let me just quickly mention, if you're going to be the guy that put these together, take the time to put the stickers on there straight. I've seen so many pictures of these things online where, you know, the stickers are crooked and stuff. Take the time to put the stickers on straight. It just makes it look better. In my opinion, it's worth more. If you ever get to the point where you want to resell these and the stickers are all crooked, they don't sell repurposed stickers on these babies yet. So you want to make sure you get it right the first time because there's not a replacement set that's currently or commercially available. Maybe 10 years or 15 years down the road, they'll do that like they've done with some of the other collectibles I have with Play School. But right now, they don't get the stickers right. So I hope you enjoyed this quick little video here with RB's Toy Box. And like I said, if you like what you're seeing here, I've got some more cool things we're going to be putting together. Make sure you hit that subscribe and then comment and then like and then come see me on Facebook for a bunch of the little videos and following some of the things we got coming up with Nutrizone Studios here in just a couple of weeks. So we've got some cool things that are planned. So make sure you come visit me again here on Arby's Toy Box.